Hello everyone. In this module, we are going to discuss module in J. Like in previous uh, sections, we have seen how to create pages, how to create J B specification class to verify in twin flows. Now let's talk about modules. So modules are pretty similar to pages, but in place of extending page class, we normally extend modules. But the question arises, why do we need these modules? So modules are needed when we have some static content on any of the web page that is coming on more than one places or on more than one pages. So let's see what I am just saying. So I'm just switching on my website abodeqa.com. So here we can see we have various tabs and if I'm just clicking on any of these tabs then we are just landing on that specific section but these tabs are remaining the same. These tabs are not changing but the content is changing and at the same time we have these widgets those are also static in nature. It means these contents are static but are available on every single page. So in that case Jib has just provided one solution that why not we create one separate class that is going to have all the static content and later on wherever it is needed we can just call these static content in respective pages where we need it. So let's see how we normally create a module class. So let me switch back. Okay, so here I have just noted down all the examples that we can just cover under this module. So these are menu tabs of any website because it normally remains same. Widgets on either side of the pages. Footer of the websites are also pretty static and might be some user specific detail is also not changing on any of the website. So these are few of the example that we can just take into the consideration. Might be in your case you will be seeing some more enriched content those are static so you can just take any of these now let's see the format of module class so like in page class designing we have just seen we were just creating one groovy class and we were just extending that specific class with page here we are extending module class and this module class is being imported by calling import zip dot module so here we can see that we have just imported zip dot module and at the same time we have also extended module and all other things will be pretty similar to the page class. It is going to have a static content. The function definition will be pretty similar to the page class. Now the question is we have just created the module class but how we are just going to use it. So let's see. So wherever we need to use this module class in any of the pages then first thing we will do we will just import the class means module class will be imported and then we need to go into the static content section and there we need to provide one variable that is going to use in place of module class and then we will follow the same pattern that we were just following to define any of the content but here we need we need to write module and then the name of module class so let's see one practical aspect so let's switch back to the eclipse so here we are inside our eclipse now the first thing that we need to do is to create one module package within this src folder so here i have just created module package and within this modules package we need to define our module class. So here I'm just creating one module class that is going to contain tabs of aboardqa.com. So here we are going to define these element within this module class. So let's get back to Eclipse. So as per our discussion first we need to import this chip.module and then we need to extend this abode QA tabs class with module class. 
and all remaining part will be pretty similar to the page class. So here we have just defined static content and within this I have just taken only one menu tab that is about us and have also followed the same structure name of navigator weight and then the actual navigator now we have just created one about us navigator and for this navigator we have also created one method click on abode QA about us tab so what we have just done here we have just copied this about us and then we have just performed the action click so this is one a small example of module class now let's see how we are just going to call this module class so to call this module class first we need to import this class inside the page and then we need to follow navigator name then module one space and the name of this module class so let's get back to the page contact us page and within this space we are going to call this module class so here we can see that i have already imported modules dot star means whatever the module classes has been defined within this modules package those all will be imported here and we can just perform action on all the classes those are defined as modules now get back to this static here you can see that I have just defined one tabs navigator name variable then we have provided one weight and further the special thing is in all other contents or navigator we can see that after weight we are just calling this dollar but in case of module we are going to denote that we are going to use some module class here as a variable so we are going to call module and always remember this module will start with a small letters and then one space and the name of module class that is a board QA tabs now we have one navigator tabs and whatever the content we need from this about QA tabs class we can directly call this variable dot suppose we need any content static content then we can directly call like this tabs dot the name of content suppose we are trying to call this about us then we can just call it like this dot suppose some action like click or any kind of action that we want to perform on this then we can write it like this but for this section we have already created one method so we are going to call this method and to perform all these actions since we are performing certain action so for that we have already created one function within this contact us space now we are getting back to the specification test package and we need to create one first example of module specification class and I have all I have already created this dincher where we are just going to extend this sorry where we need to extend this JB spec that we have already covered in previous sections then we have just defined one method then given block then when block and since we we are going to perform this action on contact space so within this when we are just calling to contact us page now we have to call the action method so let's get back to here copy this function paste it here so we are performing one action call click method of module class and then we are verifying whether we have correctly lined up on the correct page or not so that is why i'm just printing this title because once we will land on the contact us page uh, sorry about us page then it will say something like this about us hyphen about QA so let's save this script and execute it
So here we can see that contact us page has been opened. Now it is going to highlight this about us when it is going to click on the about us menu tab and then we will land on the about us page. It means our test case has successfully executed and here we can see that title is saying about us hyphen about QA. It means our module creation is now working. So in the similar fashion you can just create any number of modules where you think like some static content is available on your page and you need those content anywhere in your any of the page class. So you can just use it.